Welcome back. You know, Herman, Missouri has so much to offer. Check out this beautiful wedding venue where you can have access to the beautiful outdoors as well as a beautiful chapel that overlooks the Missouri River. Take a look. When I think of hospitality, beautiful views, and the nicest people around, I think of Herman, Missouri, especially Herman Hill, the amazing place Kelly and I got to stay last night. It was great. Terry, so this good. place is amazing. I'm thrilled that you got to experience the other side of Herman Hill. We obviously have lodging as well as weddings. Thank mm -hmm. you for spoiling us. I'm telling you, that place, the amenities were great. I love the shower. Yeah, the bathtub, the jacuzzi. I mean, yes. really, you've taken like the cottage up a level. You yeah. feel so luxurious when you stay here. And breakfast. And it's, it's curious on the lodging side, about 60% of our guests are here to celebrate an anniversary. So it seems like people do a lot of things during the year, but when it comes to their anniversary, they want a place like Herman Hill that's very upscale, very private, and, and they come, return year after year. It's With incredible true. views, and this is your backdrop to your wedding venue as well. Talk about that. Yeah, we, my wife of 53 years and I, uh, built this 18 years ago. Everything we do, we we bring in people uh, who know more than us. And and in in the wedding business, it's all about photography. So we had wedding photographers here all along the way to make sure the chapel view was centered right on the center of the bridge. And about six years ago, we blasted out this River Bluff ceremony site, and this has proven to be extraordinarily popular. So popular that even if a couple, let's say they have a November, December, January wedding schedule, and they're assuming in the chapel, we always tell our couples to have their florist have their flowers be portable in 15 minutes, because we've had December's, January's, where it's exceptionally warm, 60 degrees, and the couple decides they're gonna move it out here and have it all in the ceremony, uh, the outdoor ceremony site. So so we're, we're all about flexibility. We never have two weddings going on at one time, so th th they have the whole run of, of the, the venue, and that really helps. Uh, we have about 300 capacity here, sometimes go a little bit above that. Mm -hmm. Occasionally you see an eagle flying by during the ceremony, and, and if you go in and talk to the, the guests during the reception, the only question I'll ever have, well, Terry, how do you do that eagle thing? How do you, how do you get that to fly the Timing by? is just yeah, timing. It's, it's, it's everything. Um, dogs have become incredibly important with weddings now. The, the cottage that you stayed in and all of our River Bluff cottages are dog friendly. You'll never be over here in the morning and not see guests walking their dogs. Oh, nice. We've got huge areas here. We've got a big woods area with a swing and all that's about photography. But but, but dogs and ceremonies have been around forever. But in the last few years, we're finding the dogs stay for the whole reception. And, and it's just something that the couple will have different dog treats uh, that they can take home in a bag that has the couple's name and the date of their, their wedding. And, and so we've become much more focused on that. And what we're, we're bound to do and the only thing that we really care about is implementing the, the individual brand that each couple has for their wedding because that's what they deserve and we have an, a very large, very experienced staff that makes sure that happens. Yes, it's good. You know, I love too, as Kelly and I were walking around, you have the indoor chapel, the gazebo, yeah. the outdoor, and then a beautiful reception hall. It's huge. Yeah, it's yeah. big. Yeah, and everything is neutral colors, so it's easy uh, for them to bring in whatever they want to, to, again, make it special and unique to them and their reception. And what you do by not planning two weddings uh, like some mm -hmm. people would do just to get as, the most sure, money. Right. You care about the couple yeah, and, and the flexibility. I love we're that. We're totally focused on that. Yeah. And, and we're, 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 the standard that we use is we want six months after the wedding for attendees to keep saying to the parents and the couple, We've attended 50 weddings. We've never been treated that well. We've never yeah. experienced what you had at Herman Hill. 
Well, I'm telling you, we would, we, say, that. We would say that because we've yeah. experienced your hospitality. Yeah. We've been treated so well. The room was beautiful. The view, the jacuzzi, the breakfast this morning. So nice. Everything is just perfect. So if you're coming to Herman, yes. maybe for an anniversary, a staycation, a week, even a wedding, what's the best way to get in touch with you to, to, to book a room or a wedding? Either HermanHill.com or our phone number 573 486 4455. Thank you so much for your gracious hospitality. I'm thrilled that you were here. We had Thank a great you time. So, Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Herman, wine country, and, and so, so much more. It was so beautiful oh. there. And we went out on that beautiful slab of rock and took photos. And by the gorgeous. way, if you want information, go to their website, visitherman.com. Everything will be there that you need yeah. to experience what we did. Mm -hmm. And Kelly, we also have a very special video. Yes. Because our producer, Charlie, was there <laughs> walking around because at, at Herman Hill, the the cottage we see that was so exquisite. Yeah. Charlie couldn't believe it, and he went around with his iPhone and recorded this. Can we take a look at this? This is a. Oh, take a full. There we go. Okay, so yeah. Charlie's in there, and he is just like walking around. He goes, "Oh, look, there's the bathroom. Okay, that's nice. Yes, <laughs> big it, tub. Yeah, beautiful and fireplace. There's the living room. Uh huh. Nice kitchen, kitchen area. Yeah. Then walking into the room I stayed in, there's my bed. Yeah. Fireplace, of yep. course, lovely. And of course, I think we're going to go out on the beautiful deck here and just see. But each room, each had their own jacuzzi tub, yep. own shower, space, big old cabinet to get ready on. But then here's there. the piece de resistance. Hello. Look at this: a hot tub, private deck over the Missouri River. Look at that view. Can you even? I can't even. I just wish that we'd had more time actually to experience it. Now it was had, quick. Yeah. It was a quick trip. Had I been there on my own, I might have partaken in the hot tub and the glass of wine, but. <laughs> But, yeah. I right. did not. Yeah, that's okay. But it's we were not. very busy the whole time we were there, though. Yeah, so. we were. I would like, to, like I said, go back. And, and maybe now that it's a little cooler, you know, the mm. leaves turning, I think, I think that would be a great time to go visit Herman. Yes, and make sure you go to the website, visitherman.com. You can experience all the fun that we had because Herman is wine, wine country, country and, and so much, much more. more. That's right. All right, don't go anywhere. We're chatting with Kev, uh, Chris, Kevin and Chris from 98.7 The Dove. I got the mixed up. It's okay. so, it's okay. I got